What's going on guys? Welcome back to Clash with Eric. We are on day three, just finishing up the last couple minutes of the One Hive versus Motorheads war. And One Hive is taking back that number one spot yesterday and we hold it again strong today, gaining a nine star lead above Double Deuce and even more against Can You Tanchui. Uh, let's get into some replays here and see what uh, kind of awesome stuff we pulled off. All right, first up we have Nick. Uh, he's over from uh, WHF right now playing with us. We also have Wiseman over here. Uh, he also got a three star today, so I'll be showing his replay in just a moment. Nick came in with a mass miner. Uh, it's a very simple, mostly spam attack, uh, but Nick makes it happen. This is a just a straight up spam. He once again, we want to make sure we get the two star at a minimum when we do these attacks in Supercell CWL. You don't have a backup, so if you miss it, then we don't have anybody else that can do that attack because we there's only 15 attacks with 15 bases. So he just heals the miners as they move through the base. It's a very simple attack on this square, compact base. Uh, and double giant bombs, ducks under the Giga Bomb. He, the CC came out, and the balloons just kind of sit there, and the poison, they go down no problem. Uh, that, there's a wizard going after the hound there that's going to pop it eventually, so he's got a poison ready for it. And, yeah, this, uh... He's just moving so fast, there's just so many miners in his face. The hound actually kills the wizard, so it doesn't actually pop, it looks like. So it looks like he's not going to need that poison. And with no air skellies, or excuse me, no ground skellies, he just moves right on through. Nothing's slowing those miners down. And this base is just, it's just obliterated. There's the heroes form the funnel on the side for the miners, and they just move on through. It's a little bit tough to watch the miners when they are moving through the base. So they're just sometimes they're a little bit hard to see exactly where they're at. But Nick is a pro and he can he can do it. So good job, Nick, and thanks for coming on over from WHF. Good to have you. Let's uh, speed that last couple seconds up. Oh, that hound finally pops, and it don't even matter. There it is, three stars in the bag. Alright, next up we have Pidgey coming in also with Miners. You're going to see that a lot today. Miners are powerful. Uh, Alright, he's, but he's going to do the Queen Walk as part of his. He's got a head full of Wizards it looks like as well. And he's using that Stone Slammer instead of a uh, Wall Wrecker. So let's uh, see what he can do with it. Looks like, uh, notice that timer, three minutes, that means, looks like the battle started within the last uh, five seconds of hitting that three minute mark, so this was a very, very close one on time. Looks like he's, there's no ground targeting defenses in this area here, so he can send that wall, or that uh, stone slammer in and have wizards follow it, and they can safely be tanked and protected by the stone slammer. So it eventually goes down. And we have balloons popping out, they draw the CC, that queen walk is already in action, dragon comes out of the CC, there's an air targeting, uh, only the air targeting CC came out, so there's probably something else inside of that CC uh, for ground troops, so as long as it's not like Valks or something, that uh, hopefully the miners will be alright. Uh, I'm thinking it's probably balloons, I guess we'll see in just a moment, huh? He sends out a Coco Loon there. The Coco Loon actually pulled the Red Mine, and the Red Mine uh, went after the healers because there was nothing else to uh, go after. He's the bowler down here. Notice how he's got the. There's no defenses that can target that. He can just bowler bounce that uh, air defense. It's never a good thing to uh, have happen when, when you're doing your base building. He's like an ice goal when he comes out of the CC. He really just gets through his between rounds that corner. The Ice Golem pops, dealing serious damage from the Queen. The healers are getting taken out by the Expo while she's got that ability popped. They all switched, but she's got enough power to get through. 
Uh, it's a little bit dangerous. She's running out of healers. Looks like one left. And here comes the miners. So this area down here at the uh, 5 o'clock position was already cleared out. The king's working his way down the side. That makes a nice narrow funnel for the queen. Or for the miners, I mean. And here they come. Uh, heal to get through that multi-inferno. Looks like the queen's going down. She just doesn't have any power with the only one healer on her. And that last healer is going to get shot down by that air defense. Uh, the king is wrapped all the way up around. He's keep moving. Miner's moving into the eagle. That's going down real fast. And he's got a heal to get through the town hall. And once again, notice no ground skellies. Miners are very fast when there's no ground skellies. So they're just moving right on through. Uh, they're out of heals now. He has to get their bomb tower and multi inferno and a wizard tower. This is very. Uh, it could be very dangerous. But there's a lot of miners left. Looks like a bunch of them get hit by that. Uh, that bomb tower, and they are not going to get that uh, our expo down, but there's enough in the other pack here that got through that whiz tower, and they're going to bring it in. Just a couple seconds to spare. That is a three star in the bag for Pidgey. Good job, buddy. Alright, next up we have Wiseman from a WHF coming over to One Hive to show off his skills. He's a very strong attacker. We're happy to have him. So he's coming in with a, once again, Queen Walk Miners. He's got a P.E.K.K.A. with him. Uh, let's see what he can do with it. Uh, notice he's got this this lowered ec, uh, Archer Tower there, and he uses the bowlers to bowler bounce over these other buildings outside of the range of it and take it out before the it can even shoot anything. So that's a, you gotta be careful with that uh, when you're making your bases. And here comes that queen. Looks like the bowlers formed the funnel to force her towards that 12 o'clock position where that wall wrecker's coming in. He's got a couple balloons to pick off that uh, arch tower and a wizard behind it to clear the trash. That's gonna force the queen to follow the wall wrecker in. She's gonna rage as it gets through that enemy queen. And there's, oh, he pops that ability. Probably didn't need to pop the ability, but Better safe than sorry. Uh, raids over, that queen goes down. So uh, he engages that enemy CC. Looks like a ice golem. He's got the the enemy king there as well. Uh, he's got that single inferno, but he got froze by the ice golem with his queen uh, while that single inferno was locked onto him. So he pops the freeze onto the single to save her. Pekka came out of his CC with some giants, and here comes the miners coming in from two o'clock. He's got the king on the outside uh, to narrow that pathing for the miners. That's pretty standard. Warden behind. Queen goes almost out of the base, changes her mind, comes back in. Get the eagle pounded down, but they're going to engage that eagle pretty quick. You generally want to get the eagle down pretty quick, either by the queen walk or with the first thing the miners engage when you do this style of attack. And it looks like the king is getting targeted by that single inferno. He's going down very shortly. There he goes. Miners engage the town hall right as ground skellies, but the ground skellies don't distract him fast enough. But the warden ability, uh, since those miners did not duck under because of the skelly trap, the warden ability was forced to be used there to prevent the miners from getting hit by that gigabomb. A tornado trap goes off, and it doesn't affect the miners. See that queen still going up there, working her way through. And this base was wrecked in uh, just a little bit over two minutes. A couple giant bombs at the end there. Not a big deal. This base is already wrecked. It's over. Hell of a job, Wiseman. Bringing in the three star. All right. Next up, we have Tricky. Tricky coming in on Mignon from Motorheads. He's coming in with uh, a big whole, what do you call this, the six lava hounds and a whole bunch of bat spells. This is another short one, looks like just under, or just over two minutes. He's using that E-Drag, his E-Drag gets huge value on this attack. He uses the heroes, whenever you have that outside town hall, it's a, always a big uh, value to take out the town hall with the heroes. That's a no-brainer right there. He's got a couple uh, tornado traps and skelly traps going off there, trying to uh, get them, but they're, 
Those little traps aren't gonna stop the uh, Sibi Hero to take out that town hall. Even the queen's right there. Uh, Gigabomb goes off, takes off the remaining health of that king, and the uh, queen pops that ability, gets her a couple more things. I don't think she gets any queen there. Mm. No, oh, does get her, does get her. Look at that e drag, still going, getting value over there, outranging all those defenses that it's shooting at. That's huge value out of that e drag. It finally goes down, and here comes six lava hounds, a handful of balloons, that stone slammer, and uh, coming in from that six o'clock and bats everywhere just so many bats with all those lava hounds just completely overwhelms the defenses they can't do anything and when all the bats are spawned he pops that warden ability those lava hounds are protected the bats are protected and those bats move so fast and with that warden ability keeping them up there's just nothing that they just look at this big old swarm getting through that expo really really fast while the balloons are tanking oh the wizard got a shot out of it but there's the paths are down and there's still how many hounds are left warden gets hit by a seeking air mine i think there's three maybe i think there's three hounds there but the other three popped so there's pups everywhere this base is absolutely wrecked you need to be very careful using all single infernos nowadays if you have bases that are still using uh all singles you need to th really really think about changing that with this meta shifting to these bats bats are very powerful against singles so don't get caught uh with a single inferno on your base and no multis uh, i recommend at least two multis on your base uh good job tricky bringing in the three star All right, guys, that's the last of the replays we're going to show today. Uh, there was one other three-star uh, from Cass. The, that one was shown in the last video I put out because we did that one live on a, another video. So I'll put the link for that in the, the description. So make sure you go check that one out as well. That one was really awesome. Uh, don't miss that one. And One Hive is going to move on to round four. And next we are fighting, looks like, Can You Taunch We? And... Don't miss that tomorrow. We'll have a recap for that as well, showing those awesome attacks. Uh, that's it for today. Make sure you uh, drop a like on the video, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next one.